Well, hello, Stephanie. My name is Greg, and we connected on the Assisted Living Connect Facebook group. Now, I had posted into that group saying that I would be happy to make a video for anyone um, who would like to know what they would need to do to get more uh, traffic to a website so that they could turn that traffic, that is, visitors to their website, uh, so that they could turn those visitors into potential paying residents. You mentioned to me that you do not have a website, uh, that you're currently listed on caring.com. Here's your listing. And you had asked me, um, you had said to me that I would get a, a website if it would help. Now, uh, what I'll do for you in this video is show you how I believe having a website certainly can help. Okay. Um, let's take a look at a Google search. So I did a Google search here, Assisted Living Garland, Texas. This is a very common search that um, someone in, uh, in Texas or local to Garland um, would use to find all their options in assisted living in the area. They use this kind of search because it mentions the location and it mentions exactly the service that you offer, assisted living. Now, some people may use slightly different variations of this, senior care, uh, Garland, Texas, or, and, and whatever the case may be. But the fact remains that we do this simple search to find what we're looking for. Now, what I see when I, when I, when I uh, uh, receive these search results is as follows. I see ads. Now, all these ads are taken up by the big directories, a place for mum, senior advisor. Um, there is an opportunity, however, to find yourself located here in what we call the map pack. These are the first three or four results ever shown on any, on any um, Google search. And what you can see here is that each one of these, uh, each one of these locations has a website. Um, now a website, I'm gonna click into Mayberry, gives you an opportunity to represent your uniqueness to your customers, who quite frankly are making a big decision and probably a big life change too. So I already like a very engaging website that customers, potential customers can scroll through, can see themselves in, um, and it helps them identify with, with you. Um, and it gives them an opportunity to, to think that they could give you a call. Now, contrast this experience to, to not having a website. So here I am searching for uh, Assisted Living Garland. I'm going to scroll down, and the first thing I arrive at are all these directories taking up the first places in Google. Personally, I do not like this because if I am a, a an elderly person, or I or I'm a uh, or I have a family member who's elderly, and I'm looking for a location for them, what this tells me is I've done a Google search. Now I have to go into another another site to click through another 78 potential uh, listings or here another 50 potential listings, this is simply overwhelming. I would far rather like to see, like I see here, Brookdale, Mayberry. These are actual businesses that I can click into and see their websites. Now, let's say, for example, I did click into caring.com, which is where you are listed. Okay, here I am. Uh, now I've got 78 to look through. I scroll down, I scroll down, I scroll down, I scroll down. I see that you are here, okay? I click into your listing and I'm taken to your uh, your page within caring.com. Now, I know that caring.com has to keep every, uh, every uh, page for every business fairly uh, consistent. But you know, I, I guess you ask yourself the question, what's more appealing, looking at this kind of listing if I'm a potential customer, or looking at someone's website that really can be very curated and engaging to draw me in and have me read more, learn about your services, learn about who you are and what makes you as a assisted living facility unique and why I could consider myself living here. Okay, so I guess uh, to answer your question, would a website help? I certainly think it would. Um, there are some other things that um, that you can do with a website. So once you have yourself a website that is engaging, you then need to get that website found on the internet, okay? And there are a couple of things that you can do. So I'm gonna give you a, a very, very quick overview because we don't need to go into this in too much detail. Here, if you find, if you do uh, enough good work to get your website listed here in the map pack, as I mentioned, that's the top three listings, you have immediate access to your customers right here. You're at the top of Google, and when they're searching for you, they may find caring.com down here, 
or edges living down here. But if you if your actual website is listed here, you have a much better chance of them clicking in on you. Okay, the way that I go about uh, building websites is that I care very much about content uh, and what we call backlinks and citations. This is just technical stuff, and I don't want to go through it in too much detail right now. But if if we get this work uh, done very well, we can uh, give ourselves a good opportunity to get a lot of traffic. So here we have been we've been looking at Mayberry Gardens, Stephanie. Um, I want to show you something here. Now this is a just a tool that I have access to at the back end that I use to analyze websites. Now you can see that Mayberry Gardens currently today gets around 150 visitors to their website per month. Um, now I don't know how many visitors or how many potential visitors see uh, your page here uh, in Caring, but the fact remains they're getting 150 dropping into a nice looking website and they can convert, let's say one in 10, or, or even one in 20 of these into, into paying residents. That's two new residents a month. Uh, no, that's way more than that. It's about four, six. It's a lot more residents a month, I guess. My math is not working right now. Uh, so so I guess um, that's the work that I do, Stephanie. Um, I build websites um, that are engaging. I do all the work that is needed to get those websites ranking up into Google. Um, so that um, your customers can click on you directly without having to worry about going in through a directory. Okay, and I'll leave you with this last question: Is uh, if we do if we did a good job in this, you know, what does your facility look like if you're converting even one in 150, uh, one additional new resident per month? Does that keep you full? Maybe two residents a month. Who knows? Um, but this is why I think that um, uh, having a website most certainly. Um, would help you very much. I can help you uh, if you would like that help, or at least I'm happy to talk to you further. Uh, my name is Greg. I run an agency called Big Local Digital. Here's my phone number, here's my email address, but I will give you, uh, I will follow up with you on Facebook once I've sent this video to you. Uh, so Stephanie, I, I do hope that this was useful to you. Um, I would love to speak to you further if you have any interest. And uh, of course, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for watching my video.